Hey YouTube, Captain Tech here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn a DVD into MP4 format, which can be played on any computer, iPad, or Android. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need two pieces of software, and the download links are going to be in the video description below, as well as here on this notepad, and they're called DVD Decryptor and Handbrake. So let's go ahead and get DVD Decryptor. Once again, the download links are in the video description below. And as soon as we go there, the download should begin. So I'm gonna, once it's done, I'm gonna go and double click on it. We're gonna click yes, click next. Um, I do not want a quick launch icon, so I'm going to uncheck that, and then click next. I'm gonna install it. So click install and it's going to ask me if I want DVD decryptor to check to see if there's a newer version every time it loads. Absolutely not. That's going to waste time. So I'm going to click no and then I'm going to uncheck run DVD decryptor because I don't want to run it at this moment. Once we're finished, we can close out of this window and move on to our next piece of software, which is Handbrake. Now, one caveat with Handbrake is that there's two versions of Handbrake. There's a 64-bit version and a 32-bit version. And what you guys need to do is to find out which version of operating system you're running. And the easiest way to do that is by clicking on the Start menu, going into Computer, and then clicking System Properties. Now, under System Type, you'll see which version of operating system you're running. Now most newer computers are going to be 64-bit and it all depends on whether you have 4 or more gigabytes of memory on your computer. If you have 4 or more gigabytes of memory on your computer, you will have a 64-bit operating system. Since we have a 64-bit operating system, we're going to get the 64-bit handbrake. And once again, these both downloads, both the 64-bit and the 32-bit will be in the video description below. So you can find them there. And we need to give it about five seconds and the download will start automatically. So give it a few seconds. And the download has started and I'll get back to you once the download has finished. Okay, so the download has finished. Now I'm gonna go and double click on it. We're, we're gonna click on yes. Now we're gonna click next. I agree. This is something that I'm not gonna read. Click install and click finish. So now we have both pieces of software and now we can start decrypting our DVD. So at this time we want to insert our DVD into our computer. So now we're going to take DVD decryptor and handbrake and I'm going to bring them over here so we don't get them mixed up and we know what we're working with. So now I'm going to open DVD decryptor and it's going to initialize the disk and after a while it will say ready. Once it's ready, you're good to go. So the next thing that we need to do is to click on mode and then click IFO. Once you've done that, then we need to click on stream processing in the upper right hand side. And then we're gonna check the box that says enable stream processing. So I got that out of the way. There's a couple uh, more things that we need to do. We're gonna go to tools up here at the top. Then we're gonna go to settings. Next, we're going to click on IFO mode right here. And then under file splitting, we're going to click that drop down and select none so our video doesn't get split into pieces. Then we're going to click OK. And last but not least, we need to change the destination of where our decrypted video is going to be. Uh, currently, it's on the C drive, and you can see it over here under that button. You need to click that button and I'm going to change it to the desktop. That's probably the easiest way to work with it. But of course you can put it wherever you like, but I recommend that you put it on the desktop. So I'm going to select that. And then once you're ready to go, just click this button right here and it will decrypt your DVD. Now it's going to take a while and it the, the time depends on how much media you have on your DVD as well as how fast your drive is. So this can take up to five minutes or all the way up to 30 minutes. I'll get back to you once the video has finished decrypting. Okay, so the decryptor has finished. The operation was successfully completed. So I'm gonna click okay. 
Now we can close out of DVD Decryptor. So on your desktop, you're gonna notice three files, three new files. You're gonna notice um, this .vob, uh, this .ifo, and this text document. Now, the one that we need to worry about is the .vob. The rest can go in the trash can. So just take that, throw them over there. And now we have our .vob. So now what we need to do is to take this .vob and convert it into an mp4. So the way that we're gonna do that is via handbrake. So we're gonna double click on handbrake and we wanna tell the program which file we're gonna convert. So we're gonna go up into source and it's a video file. So we're gonna select video file and that, that's our VOB. So let's double click on that and click okay. Next, we want to change the video quality, and the way that we're going to do that is by clicking on video right here. And then under constant quality, there's a slider, and if you drag the slider toward the right hand side, you will increase the video quality. Now one thing to note about the slider is that the file sizes increase exponentially as you drag it toward the right hand side. So you can go all the way to zero, but your file size will be something like 100 gigabytes. And really, the video quality of 0 is not much better than, say, 15. But when you pick 15, your file size will be substantially smaller. So I recommend you picking 15. Of course, you can play around with it. You can go to 0, you can go to 10, go to 5. And if you want a smaller file size, try something like 30 to 40. So go ahead, play around with it. I recommend 15, but it's all up to you. So once you selected the quality, now we're going to change the file destination by clicking on Browse. And once again, I'm going to select my desktop because that's that's the easiest place to locate it. I'm going to give it a name, give uh, my video file name, and I'm just going to name it test and click save. And then once we've done all that, then we can go ahead and click start right here. And then wait, and over here it can tell us what percentage it's at, it will tell us the time remaining, the time elapsed. And this will take anywhere from, once again, from five minutes to, this one can take up to three hours if you select the really, really high quality. So um, you just gotta be patient. This is where a good computer comes in handy. A faster computer will really cut down the time on the conversion process. So I'll get back to you once the video has finished converting. Okay, so the conversion is complete now. And as you can see on our desktop, we have a we have our converted file. It says .mp4, and just to prove it to you that it's a .mp4, I'm going to right click on it, uh, click Properties, and as you can see right there, it says .mp4. So we're done. So that's how you convert a DVD into an .mp4 format, which can be played on your computer, your iPad, and your Android. So I hope this video really helped you out. If it did, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Also, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll try my best to answer you with any questions. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more future videos. As always, thanks for watching, guys.